Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we have another set of cases for the Galaxy S10, Galaxy S10e. So let's go ahead and take a look at them and see how they fit and how they look. So these are from Incipio and I am a longtime fan of Incipio, although I will have to say I am disappointed. Incipio, if you're watching this, please bring back the NGP Advance case for Samsung smartphones. It was my go-to case for really good grip, really good texture and thin profile. Please bring that one back. That is one I deeply miss. But now let's get on to the rest of it. That was my PSA. And if you send us that before we get to our best cases of the S10, I will make sure to add that on there. All right, so let's go to the first one. So we have the Aerolite, which is our new design. I don't remember ever seeing them before. And we have the old fashioned Dual Pro. So let's start off with the Dual Pro uh, style. And very interesting design, having a hole right here for the fingerprint scanner as to not get in the way of it. And looks pretty sleek, very clean, just simple. And yeah, very wide enough so you have access to your fingerprint scanner, no problem. And whichever way you use it, looks to feel good, even through the reach around way. I mean, with your left hand, feels good and it unlocks no problem. This is really nice. It's a very soft touch uh, style. And yeah, really recommend it for dropping. Let's see. Front, so yeah, you have pretty good lip protection on the top and bottom, so if it drops, it will not damage the case or screen protector on here. So yeah, really good. Definitely like that style. And this is an 11 foot drop, so it's pretty good uh, drop protection. So let's see how this one feels. Uh, even softer, I would say, although kind of a cool temperature to it. I'm not sure if this enhances it being cool, but it definitely feels cooler, I would say. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Oh, huh. I will say you have to get used to that. There is no uh, thing, there's no button press indication on these sides. You have an indent, so your finger will kind of like go into it. But, yeah, I don't know. That's a very different design. I would say you're going to have to get used to it because you really have to push this in to feel that press. I don't know what they were going with for here. I mean, I guess it's clean all around and it, the case looks great. But that is something you would definitely have to get used to. The, the press that you have to do on this one, and there's no like click feedback um definitely have to get used to it it's not something that i would uh feel very different from all other cases like this one nice traditional clicky buttons no problem feels great but with this one yeah you you would just have to get used to it it's kind of it's kind of like a um a touchpad uh keyboard where it doesn't give you uh feedback or uh, um yeah I don't know, not, not not a fan off the top of my head, and I'm always honest with you guys, but um, something you have to get used to with this one. But yeah, these are some cases from Incipio, and they do have others. I do like the NGP regular one, but that uh, Advanced was by far my favorite from Incipio, so hopefully they'll bring that in time for the S10s, or possibly even the Note later on down the year. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section down below. Uh, which style do you like more? And what do you think about kind of like a soft touch button press? Let me know in the comment section. All right, guys, thank you as always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.